up YouTube, it's your boy Lewis here, aka London Pokemon, and welcome to my channel, where we keep it real, and you know we keep it 100. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, wherever you're watching in the world right now, as it's a pleasure as always to have you all on board for this journey to catch them all. Now guys, in today's pack opening, we will be opening up every single Sword and Shield set released up until now. So in total, we have 10 booster packs that I'll be getting stuck into. Now we won't be opening any of the holiday sets, such as Celebrations, Shining Fates, or Pokemon Go, but we will be opening all of the main expansions. We have ourselves a Sword and Shield base set, as you can see right there. We also have Rebel Clash, Darkness of Blaze is our next set that we'll be getting stuck into, and we will be doing so in, in order. We've got Vivid Voltage next. After that, we have ourselves a Battle Styles. Then we've got ourselves Chilling Rain. Plenty of cards that we need from that set. Evolving Skies, the set of the evolutions, comes after that. Then we've got ourselves Fusion Strike, still on the hunt for those Mew cards. Then we've got ourselves some Trainer Gallery sets in Brilliant Stars. And then last but by no means least, a set that's been very good to us recently, we have Astral Radiance. So really looking forward to getting stuck into those very, very shortly. Now, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get my hands on any Lost Origin as of yet, as it doesn't officially release until next week in the UK. However, we will potentially be doing a giveaway in today's video if we are able to pull free ultra rares from our 10 booster packs that we will be opening. And like I said, if we do achieve that, I'll be selecting two lucky winners to each receive a brilliant stars check lane blister as you can see on screen right now we've got the one with the flapple promo card on the left and the one with the ev promo card on the right but there'll be more details on the how to enter that if we are able to achieve free ultra rares in today's opening however guys before the hunt for some shiny cardboard please make sure to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel then please make sure that you subscribe as well i upload videos every monday and friday so make sure to have all notifications on so you do not miss a single video okay guys remember we are on the hunt for free ultra rare minimum today in in today's opening in order to do our giveaway now that means a anything better than a hollow rare so a v card v max v star alternate art gold card rainbow rares even amazing rares or trainer gallery cards in that reverse hollow slot we are cards that will count towards that total you will see the counter go up on the bottom left of your screen there um, and that will show how many we've currently got so we will be getting stuck into sword and shield base set first and foremost we still have 62 percent of this set still to collect i'm on the hunt for the snorlax and the lapras v max the rainbow rare snorlax and the rainbow rare um and the regular Lapras VMAX, sorry, the Rainbow Lapras VMAX as well, sorry. Torkoal and Morpeko Full Art, as well as the Golden Zation and the Golden Zamazenta. Now, it's not a set that's been too kind to us in the past. We have pulled the Stonjourner Rainbow Rare from this set before. But other than that, we've not got too many great pulls. So let's give you a code card at home first of the day. Do give those away in all of the videos, so make sure to be using those. And do let me know down in the comments section in, um, which set you feel will have the best hit in today's opening. So we kickstart this booster pack off with a Psychic type energy. We go on into a Citrus Berry Trainer card. Kingler is our next card after that, which is a Water type Pokemon. Going on into a Hyper Potion Trainer card. Sizzlipede comes after that one. Then we go into a Pawn Yard, which is a Metal type Pokemon. After this, we've got ourselves a Ghastly. Very nice artwork on that card there. We move on into a Roselia. After this card, we have ourselves. A Goldeen, going into our Reverse Hollow slot, we have a Rhyhorn Reverse Hollow, which is just a common, going into our rare of this booster pack. Can we get ourselves our first Ultra Rare to update that total, which like I said, is at the bottom left of your screen. Our rare of this pack is a Cinchino non holo Rare. So nothing from our Sword and Shield base set booster pack, so nothing that time around. However, nine more booster packs to come your way. We are going in order of release, so next we move into our Rebel Clash set. Now we do still We'll have 65% of this set to complete. Rillaboom and Cinderus VMAX are two cards that I'd love to pull from this one, along with the Nine Tails and the Bolton Full Art. Cinderus and Phalanx Full Art are two cards that we also need, along with the Golden Frost Moth and the Galarian Peserta. And I'll be honest with you, Rebel Clash hasn't been a set that's been too kind to us in the past, so I can't say I've got my hopes up for this particular booster pack. However, we will keep our fingers crossed to see um, in hopes that we can get ourselves something decent to add to that total. So we'll do a four, four round to the front, kickstarting this one off with a metal type energy. We move on into a Dublade, which is a metal type Pokemon. After this, we have 
a Lombre. We're going into a Hatchroom, which is a Psychic type Pokemon. Galarian Farfetch is our card after this one. Moving on into a Hone Edge. Time Pole comes after this one, or Tim Pole, Time Pole. Let's cheer it up a little bit with some luck, with this magic from some. <laughs> with some magic from this booster pack is what I'm trying to say. Getting a bit tongue twisted today. Vallabi is our card after this. Going into a Galarian Corsola as we move into our Reverse Hollow, which is an Arcanine Reverse Hollow, which is actually a rare. It is a card that I've pulled before though, so I'm not gonna get overly excited for that one. We need something from this rare slot here. We have a Magmortar uh, Non-Hollow Rare. So it's not a card that I've got, something that will be going into um, the collection. But Rebel Clash has most definitely been Rebel Trash um, in previous openings and in today, as we don't get anything from that booster pack. We go on into Darkness Ablaze next. 60% of this particular um, set to complete with the Charizard pack art on this one. Of course, we have pulled the Charizard VMAX from this set before. We are still after the Center Scorch and the Sizor VMAX though. The Houndoom and the Crobat Full Art are two cards that we need, along with the Sizor, Sizor Full Art and the Buster Free Rainbow Rare. And I'd also happily take the Golden Rillaboom as well as the Golden Colossal if they were to make an appearance. Um, like I said, we have pulled the Charizard. Oh, and it is a green code card, so that's not spelling. That there doesn't give us much hope, but we'll still get stuck into this booster pack anyway, in hopes of still pulling something. Like I said, we have pulled the Rainbow Rare size or before, as well as that Charizard VMAX and the Butterfree VMAX as well. As we kickstart this one off with a Darkness type energy. Going on into a Furret. After this one, we have a Steenie. We're going into a Bird Keeper trainer card. Golette is our card after this one. Going on into a Hippopotamus, which is lovely artwork on that one. Larvesta is the card after this one. As we move on into a Spinarak. After our Spinarak, we have a Squovet. Going into our Reverse Hollow of this booster pack, we have a Tauros Reverse Hollow, which is just a common. Going on into our rare, definitely not expecting much, especially as it was a green code card, but we'll keep our fingers crossed anyway. We move on into a Charizard V! Let's go! Charizard V is a card that we needed from this set. We've now got a full Charizard V and the Charizard V match from Darkness Ablaze. And how on earth did we go and pull this from a green code card? Oh my goodness, most definitely wasn't expecting anything at all from this booster pack. Such an awesome card. Charizard V has gone and been pulled. We will be adding that to our ultra rare total. Perfectly centered card as well. We've gone and pulled the Charizard V right now, as well as having that Charizard V Max in another opening. So that is an absolute smashing hit right there. Over the moon with that. And what a great way to kickstart our ultra rare total. Let's get that sleeved up and put that safely on one of the easels at the back. Wow, over the moon with that hit there. Charizard V, gone and been pulled from Darkness of Blades. We've actually completed the whole of the Charizard collection from that set now. I know there are only two Charizards in that set, but we've gone and pulled both of them. So over the moon with that, that really spices things up now, as we now, you will now see at the bottom left of the screen that our total has been updated to one um, ultra rare got out of a potential three that we need. As we move on into Vivid Voltage next, we need a Pikachu V and a Pikachu, um, Full Art, sorry, along with the Chunkachu and the Rainbow Rare version of that card as well. Zerud Full Art, as well as the Alakazam Full Art are two cards that we need. And we can also get Amazing Rares, which would count to our total if we were to pull one today. And we are still after the Celebi and the Rayquaza. Again, this isn't a set that's been too kind to us in the past, but can, we, can our luck change by potentially getting something in this opening? So there we go, there's a code card for you all. We'll chat that to the side, four round to the front as per usual. And we kickstart this one off with a Darkness type energy. We move on into our first Pokemon card, which is a Drone Rotom Trainer card. Swoobat is our first Pokemon of this opening. Going on into an Excadrill, which is a Metal type Pokemon. Pharaoh Seed follows that one. Going on into a Ryolu. After this, we have a Sandile. Going on into a Whalmer. After our Whalmer, we have a Weedle. Going into what I believe is our Reverse Hollow slot. So again, potentially an amazing rare could be sitting in that slot. We have a Karalist 
um, reverse holo trainer card, which isn't uncommon, so nothing from that particular slot to add to our ultra rare total. Going into our rare at the back, can we get a second ultra rare to add to our total, which will really put us on track for that giveaway. We have a Crocodile non holo rare. So nothing from that one there, nothing from that booster pack. So unfortunately we are four booster packs down at this stage, but we do have ourselves that one hit and what a hit it has been. As we move into our next one, which is Battle Styles. So in this particular set, we still need 64% of the set in order to complete it. Single and Rapid Strike Urshifu V alternate cards are two of our chase cards in this set. We also need the same cards, but the VMAX alternate versions. We also want to pull the Mimikyu and the Victini Full Art, as well as the Sleepy Tyranitar and the Empoleon V alternate art. Now, this isn't a set that's been too bad in the past. We have pulled the Victini VMAX before, and we've also pulled the Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. So let's see if we can bolster up our collection today by getting ourselves another Ultra Rare. There is a code card for you all. We'll do four rounds to the front once again, and let's see what we can pull in this battle style opening. Make sure that you smash that like button as well for this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel as we kickstart this um, booster pack off with a psychic type energy. We're going into a Karina's Focus trainer card. After this we have a Carcoal. We move on into a Morpeko which is a darkness type energy. Esper is our card after this one. We move on into a Timber which is a fighting type Pokemon. Galarian Slowpoke follows that card. Lovely artwork on that card as well. I do like that. We move on into a Corefish. After this water type Pokemon, we have a Salandit. Going into what I believe is our Reverse Holo, we have ourselves a Maywa Reverse Holo, which is just a um, common card, common Reverse Holo. Going into our rare slot at the back, can we get anything to add to that Ultra Rare total? We have a Phalanx non holo Rare. So nothing from Battle Styles this time. So this time around, Battle Styles hasn't given us any um, magic, but we do move on into our next one, which is Chilling Rain. So let's get ourselves stuck into that one. We've got Ice Rider Calyrax on the front of this pack art. Now for Chilling Rain, we still have 63% of this set to complete. Ice Rider and the Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX alternate card, art cards are two that we need. We also need the Galarian Rapidash Full Art as well as the Galarian Rapidash alternate art. The Blaziken Full Art and the Blaziken VMAX alternate art along with the Golden Electrode and the Golden Snorlax as well. So let's give you a code card at home. There we go. Now would be a real good time to try and get ourselves another Ultra Rare to add to our total. So we'll do four rounds to the front and we will get stuck into it. So this has been a set that's been decent in the past. We pulled the Blissey alternate art, along with a Rainbow Rare trainer card, Sandaconda VMAX alternate art, as well as the Shadow, Shadow Rider Cataract VMAX. So it has been a set that's given us good hits in the past. Fog Crystal is our first card of this opening. Moving on into a Hatrum. Drizzile is the card after this one, which is a water type Pokemon. We move on into another water type Pokemon in the form of Sphil. Crab Brawler is after this one. Going into a Golette, after our Golette, we have ourselves a Porygon. After Porygon, we have a Grookey. Going on into what I believe is our Reverse Holo, potentially another common, actually, I'm not quite sure. We have a Welcoming Lanta Lantern Trainer card, which isn't uncommon. Going into our Rare at the back of this booster pack, can we get any magic here? It'd be a real good time to get ourselves an Ultra Rare. We have a Doug Trio non holo Rare. So nothing from that booster pack. We're now down to our final four booster packs. We've got Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars, and Astral Radiance to come your way. We still need two more Ultra Rares. Um, we have, do have that Charizard at this moment in time as we go into Evolving Skies for our next set. Again, 64% to go in this particular set. Vaporeon VMAX, Jolteon VMAX are two of our chase cards in this one. It is obviously the set of the evolutions. Leafeon Full Art as well as a Glaceon Full Art is a card that I need. Espeon V alternate art along with this Sylveon V alternate art. And of course that Umbreon alternate art VMAX along with that Rayquaza alternate art VMAX. So let's see if we can get any magic in this one. Here is a code card for you all at home. We have actually pulled the Flareon VMAX in the past, along with the Flareon Fuller and a Dragonite Fuller. And we've also got that Neuvern, Neuvern V alternate art, which is known as the Batman card. So it's a set that we've not done too badly in the past with as we move on into the start of this booster pack. As we kick things off with a Psychic type energy, going into a Boost Shape Trainer card. After this one, we have ourselves a Shell Gun. Shopping Center Training card is our one after this. Going on into a Nicket. After this, we have a Dwebble. After the Dwebble, we have a Rufflet. 
Going on into a rog and roller. Wobbuffet is the card after this one. Going on into a reverse holo Carvana, which is just a common. Now would be a real good time to get something. Okay, we, if we get one now, it sets up for a great finale. Let's get ourselves an ultra rare. What can we get from our final slot? We have an Entei Holo, and we will take it. However, it doesn't quite go to our ultra rare total simply because it isn't a um, V card or better, but it is an Entei Holo, and it is one that I needed for this set. So I will happily take it, but unfortunately it does nothing to the total at the bottom left of your screen. As we move into our final free booster pack, we of course um, have Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars and Astral Radiance. And of course in the latter two um, sets there, we can get ourselves cards in the trainer gallery slot, which will add to our total. So we still have chances, so don't give up on hope just yet. Make sure you're crossing your fingers at home. Fusion Strike is our next art. Um, next set to get into. We've got Gengar for the pack art this time round. 45% of this particular set still to complete. Uh, we are looking for the Mew V Max and the Rainbow Rare version. Mew V Max alternate art along with the Mew V alternate art. Greedent Full Art as well as the Mew Full Art are two cards that we need. And I would love to also pull the Celebi V alternate art along with the Gengar V Max alternate art. So let's see what we can get from this one. We will chuck that package into the side, give you a code card at home. Good luck to whoever receives that. Okay, really need something from this particular set now if we want to stand a chance of doing that giveaway. So we kickstart this one off with a darkness type energy. We move on into a cross Seaver trainer card. After this, we have ourselves a Sligu. Claw Ipsa is the one after this one. Going on into an Aracuda. Snubble is after that card there. As we move on into a Geodude, which is a fighting type Pokemon. Sizzlipede comes after this one. As we move on into a Klefki. After this card, we have a Toxtricity Reverse Holo, which is actually a rare, so happy to be adding that to the binder. As we move into our rare slot at the back, now would be a real good time to try and get something to set up the finale. Let's see what we can pull from this Fusion Strike pack. We have a Verizion non holo rare. So nothing from that particular slot. Unlucky there. We've got now, now just two more booster packs to go. We've got Astral Radiance and we've got Brilliant Stars. Both can provide double hitters as of course we've got the Trainer Gallery subset, but we do need something from these sets now. As we move into Brilliant Stars, 47% um, to go for this set. We of course need the Charizard V and the Charizard um, Full Art. Charizard V Star as well as the Rainbow Rare version. Charizard Alternate Art as well, along with the Arceus Alternate Art as well. And then we also wanna pull maybe the Trainer Gallery, Trainer Gallery Mimikyu or the Trainer Gallery Umbreon. So let's see what we can get. This is a very important booster pack here. So let's get stuck into it and let's see what we can get. Let's give you a code card at home if I can get that out for you. There we go. There's your code card at home. So I hope you're keeping your fingers crossed for us at home. Really important that we get something this time round. Okay, so let's spin it round. We start this one off with a water type energy. As we move on into a Kindler, which is a trainer card. Ultra Ball trainer card is the card after this one. Going on into a Hitmontop. Dedene is after this. Going on into a Cub Chew. Shinx, which is an electric type Pokemon, follows that card. Going on into a Farfetch'd. After this, we have an Execute. Going into our Reverse Hollow Slot, potentially a trainer gallery card. Would be a great time to pull one if we can. We have an Acer Rollers Premonition Trainer card, so nothing from that slot. Now is the time to get something. If we can get something from this particular um, slot, then it really sets up and it puts everything on that final booster pack, that Astral Radiance booster pack. Can we get anything? We have a King Levine! Let's go! King Levine Max pulled from Brilliant Stars. Let's go, indeed. That sets up our final booster pack extremely nicely. King of Max for the first time has been pulled on the channel. Get in, extremely happy with that card and what a time to pull it as well. Just when we needed to pull ourselves an ultra rare to give ourselves the hope of getting something in that final booster pack. Very, very happy with that card there indeed. A little bit off center on the back, but not overly bothered to be honest, as it's one that will be going straight into the collection. King of Max, lovely texture to that card. So over the moon with that. Let's get that sleeved up and then we can have a look at what our final set to open up is and let's see what our chase cards are in that final set and let's see if we can get any of those chase cards in order to achieve our giveaway. So, 
Astral Radiance is our final booster pack of today's open. We have the Typhlosion artwork on the front of this one. We got 62% still to collect of this particular set. And we do need the Machamp and the Starmie full art. We also need the Beedrill and the Palkia alternate art, as well as the Machamp and the Sneasler alternate art. And we also want to try and get the Trainer Gallery, Kingdra and the Failing. So we can get something in that reverse holo slot. And I must say, before I open up this booster pack, we have been very, very lucky in the past with this set. We've got ourselves the black and gold Ice Rider Calyrex Trainer Gallery card before. We've gone and pulled ourselves the gold double turbo energy. We've gone and pulled ourselves a rainbow rare full art trainer. We've also gone and pulled ourselves the Diolga alternate art as well as the Lilligan alternate art. So Astral Radiance has certainly been my friend um, in previous openings. So can it provide us with a bit of last pack magic? So let's open that up. Let's give you Let's chuck away that packaging and we'll give you a code card at home. There we go. Chuck that to the side. We'll twist it round. We'll do four round to the front. One, two, three, and four. Okay, guys. This is the big finale. We will go through this booster pack a little bit slower than the previous ones. Build up the suspense a little bit. Remember, all we need is one ultra rare, potentially a trainer gallery card or something from that rare slot at the back. If we do, we do the giveaway. If not, unfortunately, it doesn't happen. So we kick start this one off with a water type energy. Bisharp is our first Pokemon card. Going on into a Choi Trainer card. Quilava is our Pokemon after that one. Going on into a Water Type Pokemon in the form of Barboach. Pornyard is another Metal Type Pokemon after that. Going on into an Eevee. After this, we have a Heracross. We move on into our next slot, which is a Teddy Ursa. Now, I think we may have reached our trainer gallery slot. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna build up the suspense here. This could well be our trainer gallery slot. So if it is and we pull ourselves a trainer gallery card, we do our giveaway. If not, it all goes down to the final card of the opening. In our next slot, we have... Oh, it's a reverse holo Ursa ring, which is just an uncommon, so nothing from the trainer gallery slot. We go into our final card of today's opening. If we get ourselves an ultra rare here, we do ourselves a giveaway. If not, unfortunately we don't. Let's see what we can pull. Our final card of today's opening is, oh, it's a Glaceon non holo rare. So no ultra rare from that final booster pack, which is a little bit unlucky. I did think to myself that we could potentially pull three ultra rares today, given that, you know, three of the sets have a subset. So there were about sort of 12 chances or so to do so, but unfortunately it wasn't to be this time round. That giveaway will then roll on to next time where we'll um, put those prizes on the line once again. However, guys, let's give ourselves a quick recap of what we did get today. I am by no means um, upset by what we did get in today's opening. So we got ourselves, first and foremost, that Entei card, which is a holo, which unfortunately didn't quite count towards our um, total of Ultra Rares today, but it is a new card that was pulled from Evolving Skies, and I'll be happily adding that into the collection. Then the Ultra Rare that kickstarted things off was that Charizard V over the moon with that hit. You're never going to be upset to pull a Charizard. It's always a hyped moment when you do. That one's from Darkness Ablaze, and we now have the Charizard V as well as the Charizard V Max from this set. Um, so over the moon with that as well. So let's quickly prop that onto one of the easels there. And then also we got ourselves from Brilliant Stars, one that set it up the finale of the video, which unfortunately wasn't to be, but we did get ourselves the King of VMAC, which again is a new card for the set. And that will be going straight into the binder after this video. So quite happy to have pulled that as well. So like, so guys, unfortunately we didn't quite get three ultra rares in today's video, which was definitely a respectful total to try and achieve. However, we will be rolling those prizes on to our next giveaway. Guys, if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you check out our Instagram page. The link for that is in the description to this video. But guys, thank you for tuning in today's pack opening. Make sure you've liked today's video and subscribed if you're new to the channel. But guys, until next time, keep it real, keep it 100, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.